Hey y'all, it's your girl Tashonda Renee and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm sharing a recipe I found in a Facebook group. This recipe is for a pound cake and the original poster calls it the Johnny Ruth pound cake. This is a pretty basic pound cake, but it is absolutely delicious. The recipe starts with three sticks of room temperature salted butter and two and one fourth cups of granulated sugar. You'll slowly add the sugar, creaming it together with the butter until it's light and fluffy. That usually takes about seven to 10 minutes. I wouldn't go any further than 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, this is what your butter and sugar should look like. And you should no longer hear any sugar crystals at the bottom of the bowl. Next, you'll add seven large room temperature eggs. You're gonna add them one at a time. So you're gonna add the next egg once the first egg has disappeared. Next, the recipe calls for two drawer teaspoons of both vanilla extract and lemon extract. Now you're gonna alternate two and a half cups of cake flour with three fourths of a cup of sweetened condensed milk. You're gonna start and end with the cake flour. Next, you're gonna go ahead and spray down your bunt pan. I'm using an angel food slash pound cake pan. And it is a rather large pan because this is a large cake. Remember, you are using seven eggs. So if your cake pan is smaller than what I'm using, you definitely don't wanna add all the batter. Although this is a nonstick cake pan, I did still use a baking spray. I used the Pam Perfect Release and I really love it. Um, I've never had any issues with my cakes sticking and it smells good as well. So you wanna smooth the batter as evenly as possible in the cake pan and be sure to tap it on the bottom to get rid of those air bubbles. You're gonna place the cake in a preheated oven. You're gonna bake it at 325 degrees. Miss Johnny Ruth said to bake it for one hour and 15 minutes, but of course that's going to depend on your oven. You want to bake your cake until it is done. I baked my cake for almost one hour and 30 minutes, and this is what it looks like once it comes out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and allow it to cool down in the cake pan for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to flip it out onto a cake plate and allow it to cool down like that. Miss Johnny Ruth did not make a glaze for her cake, but I do want a glaze, so I'm gonna make a simple glaze using powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla. I'll list all the measurements down in the description box if you're interested in this glaze.
Now that the glaze is at the perfect consistency and to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and pour it directly over the cake. This cake turned out beautifully. And again, it is absolutely delicious. It is the most perfect pound cake. It's not overly sweet. I was worried about it being too sweet because of the sweetened condensed milk and all the sugar. But trust me, it's not. Be sure to check out the description box for the exact measurements and ingredients that I used to make this cake. I've also included a screenshot of the recipe from the Facebook group and a picture of Miss Johnny Ruth herself. She definitely knew her way around a pound cake. This pound cake is absolutely perfect, especially when you're looking for something without all of the extra ingredients and flavors. This is the most perfect pound cake. I already know that you're going to love this cake if you do decide to give it a try. And if you do decide to give it a try, I would love to hear from you down in the comments, letting me know what you think about the cake. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.